Hello Bleepers, how the devil are you? Been a grim couple of months really. Um, my mate Paul, Paul Quinn, <clears throat> he had cancer, close mate, <clears throat> uh, and he died. Um, I took him to a transfusion at the hospital where the doctor said you've actually got about three months to live. Given a blood transfusion because his, uh, his bloods were so low. Came back, shush you full, Tuesday, Tuesday before last. And I said, I'll see you on Friday to pick you up for your next transfusion. He said, all right, mate. I said, I'll text you tomorrow to see if you're okay. He said, okay, cool. I texted him, I didn't get reply, which I thought was odd. I went around there, yeah, yeah. He passed away, man, he passed away. Um, good friend, very close friend. And it's weird, you know. I, uh, I, I, I literally, because I pretty much text him every day, I, it's so pathetic, really. Well, I guess not, it's just kind of like, you program, I guess. So I, I, I just pick up my phone and go to text him, but, Ain't no one there, man. So, yeah, he was a musician friend. So if you're interested, at all interested, we, we had a band together and we did like our own music. I'll put a link to one song below. He's the front man in that, he's a singer. Amazing singer, absolute waste. Uh, in November, a really good school friend of mine, uh, he died, choked on his own vomit, man. He had the flu. Same age as me, we had, well, in fact, our birthdays were a week apart. So I've been kind of like dealing from the fallout of that, and then Paul went and popped his clogs. Uh, yeah, so cancer, a remarkably cruel disease. And excuse my language, it is also a bit of a twat. And then there's just been other stuff. Just stuff, life stuff. Which is all kind of accumulated and became the conclusion of I haven't been able to do many videos recently. Although that isn't the actual it isn't the number one reason, all of this stuff that's been going on isn't the number one reason. It's uh, twinned with the fact of everything's cropped. Um, I just don't have any time at the moment. Um, it's so hot over here at the moment. Uh, we're in another heat wave. Uh, and it's just, it's just, it, it's, all the ingredients are there for me not to be able to make metal detecting videos at the moment. There's loads of, there's loads of um, ingredients. Also, I suffer from PTSD which I thought that only soldiers could suffer from. But no, apparently you can suffer from PTSD if you go for a really kind of like traumatic experience. So I've been keeping on top of that, just trying to make sure, because Paul died and Tim died, making sure the old depression doesn't creep in, uh, anxiety doesn't creep in. So I've been um, walking loads, bike riding, exercise seems to keep those things at bay for me. Uh, but I have to monitor it because they creep in the old back door, don't they? Depression and things like that, in they come. Before you know it, you think that they're you and they're not you. It's like, a, it's like taking over your whole life. Um, so I've been keeping that at bay. The reason I have PTSD is because doctors and counsellors think that uh, what happened with Battlefield Recovery, the TV show, uh, the, the fallout from that and everything um, was, you know, the death threats and the lies uh, by the archaeological community, uh, the, the, the way that they made things up to kind of, just to, just to prove a point that they've been going on about for ages, which is actually a valid point, but they didn't need to lie. Um, and then what the National Geographic did to us and then the producers um, and everything else on top. Um, as I said, Daily Mail, New York Times. Basically what happened was National Geographic messed up massively, made this TV show. And at the time, and I still do actually, hand on heart, I do sincerely think that we did the right thing. We repatriated, it's on Netflix if you want to watch, it's called Battle for Recovery. I'm so proud of what I achieved there, repatriating dead soldiers, um, getting them formal burials, sent back to the countries of which they were found. There's millions of these guys out there. It's not like archeology span like in this country. You can't, there's, there's bodies lying on the floor in the, the Corland Pocket in Latvia and, and parts of Russia. They're, they're everywhere. So you've got to get them up as quickly as possible with as much respect as possible and get them properly, formally, uh, I try and identify them. If you can do it via the dog tags, there's, there's massive databases. Fantastic. Russians didn't really have that. So you just give them a formal burial. Very, very, very proud of that. But the fact that I'm actually um, legally obliged, I, I signed a thing called a non-disclosure agreement by National Geographic that basically said, if I say anything about this TV show in public, they're gonna sue me. But because of their negligence, I lost everything. I lost my job, I lost my business. Uh, I lost everything. I lost all other work that was coming in because of the lies that were portrayed. So they can't sue me, can they? So I'm just going to talk about them. National Geographic are a evil, horrible corporation. Um, two weeks, the, the show was called War Diggers, and two weeks before it was to be aired, they decided to change the name to Nazi War Diggers. 
And we said, hold on, old chap, you can't call it that. And they said, we'll do what we want. We're the TV channel. We're not going to listen to you. And I said, we said, the whole of, uh, all of us said, oh my God, that name. Nazi war diggers. Wow. Their thinking is, they've just been bought out by Fox, you see. You know that they're kind of like all clickbaity stuff. Yes, yeah, it's clickbait, basically. Oh, people will watch it with a title like that because it's, um, it's just ridiculous. Insinuating like that all Germans are Nazis and we were digging up Russians. And so they changed Nazi war diggers, which caused all, all of this controversy. Oh man, you will not, you will not believe what they did. I had people outside my house. Like, <laughs> you will not believe what they did. Like National Geographic, the archeologists, um, just everybody actually but left left myself hello you're right <laughs> um just i don't know who that is um just completely left by by myself and that's like anyway long story short i'm gonna do a video about that soon by the way it needs to get out there this story this story is remarkable you will not even believe it it's like wow okay it could be like a netflix show on its own but anyway long story short that gave me ptsd you know so i want antidepressants and pills blah, 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 blah. you know how it is and i've been keeping that at bay through trying to exercise and keep my mind fit by meditating and things like that so that's it sorry that's, I want I want to I don't like doing these I, I hate it when people do videos that are like um, I, you're kind of like I'm an entertainer almost right I hate it personally when you kind of see that your entertainers got flaws <laughs> does that make sense it's like oh Oh no, you're just there to make me happy. Please don't go on about your real life and stuff like that. I, you're making me feel really uncomfortable. I'm British, I'm English. But you're making me feel uncomfortable, sir. I'll just have a cup of tea and we'll get on with it. And it's, um, so yeah, I do apologize, but hopefully some of you, it's just so you understand what, what's, what's happened, okay? Um, I will be back soon, sooner rather than later. I need to go, hello. I, I, I need to get back into it sooner rather than later, um, just for, I just miss it. I just, I just miss it. I miss, I miss going out and Mark and Luke. Um, you know, I love those guys, um, and, and Jim and everybody else and Matt uh, and like, it just sorts your head out. It, it actually, I'm going to carry on. Sorry, <laughs> I'm digressing again. Um, so I, I'm really interested in how psychology and the mind works. So when I got diagnosed with PTSD and, and the depression and the anxiety, I started doing research into the like, you know, the what actually happens in the brain concerning cortisol. Anxiety, um, flight or you know, flight or fight, um, uh, the, the cortex and the amygdala, and so I've really kind of like thoroughly, thoroughly investigated that, and I, I, I correlated and figured out um, why metal detecting is so good for psychology in the brain. And I have so many friends that have like um, uh, mental health issues that do metal detecting that like it sorts my head out. i was just like. Whoosh. I'm free, I'm good, I'm fine. So I actually, the last few weeks, I've been studying, scientifically studying, why that happens and kind of like putting it together with my own research concerning what's happened to me with PTSD. Uh, and I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a video, it's gonna be like maybe a small documentary type thing um, on why metal detecting um, sorts out your head, basically, why you feel good uh, and what's going on, like what the physical processes are going on and the psychology which are going on in your, your brain at the time. So look out for that, I'm gonna do that. I've started it already, I've been doing animations for it, um, but then all of this stuff with Paul and that happened. Anyway, so thanks for understanding, thanks for not undersubscribing and not hating me. Um, thanks for the you guys that have messaged me saying, are you okay? Because I appreciate that as well. I'll see you in the next video, my friends, and hopefully it'll be a little bit more upbeat than this one. Ta-ra.